Ladies and gentlemen, Tactical Advance here, and welcome to a ship review today. We are taking a look at the Constellation Andromeda. Now, there is four constellations. There's this one, the Taurus, the Aquila, and the Phoenix. Andromeda is the actual multi-function ship, so it has a sort of a multi-role ship. We've got the Taurus, which is the transportation ship. The Aquila is the exploration, and the Phoenix is the luxury tourer. Now, the reason for this video today is firstly, I've been very, very excited to have a look around this ship because this is the V2 of the Constellation series. And then this is a massive rework over the previous Constellations. So first of all, let's just run over some basic stats to start with. Right, the length of the ship is 61.10 meters. It's actually a little bit longer than the Taurus and the Aquila. So it's slightly, slightly longer. It's only by about two or three. It's not massive, so nothing really to write home about on that one. The physical weight is 880 compared to all the others. They're pretty much all the same. They weigh all the same. Going on to sort of the uh, bigger stuff now, it can carry 134 cargo units. That is, I would say, joint third in line. The Phoenix has 60, the Aquila has 134, and the Taurus has 243, and that's obviously being the cargo carrier. So it's actually got exactly the same as the Aquila. So... Maximum crew is five people. The power plant is a size six. That is exactly the same across all the constellations other than the Phoenix. The Phoenix has a size seven. Now moving on to the engines. It has four TR5s. That's exactly the same across all the constellations. So you're getting the same thing there. The engines are the same. You've got eight TR3 maneuver thrusters. That's the same on all of them as well. So you're getting pretty much the same thing. The actual shields, it's got a size six shields. They all have the same apart from the Taurus, which is the transportation ship, which has a size 5. Moving on to the weapons, it has 4 times S4 lasers, 4 times S1s, 2 times S2s, and it has 2 times S4s. Just want to highlight the actual, there is uh, missile racks on this one, so the 4 times S1 and S2s, the second one I said, actually comes with, I think it's 28 size 1 missiles the two times size two comes with 20 size twos oh god that's a bit of a countdown conundrum saying all that let's take a look around the ship and actually see what we get the first observation is is look it does look a lot better but there's definitely some sort of lighting pass issue inside the hangars at the moment because it actually looks better in game i think from the outside anyway than it does in the hangar it's almost like there's a the, the ship's in here but the the lighting reflections are not quite working yet with the hangar and I think once that's in place it will make it look a lot better on the outside. My overall take on this compared to the previous constellation is the constellation was only supposed to be you know five or six years old at that time in Star Citizen so you expected it to be sort of the state-of-the-art technology and looking at the older constellation it didn't look that modern. It didn't look that modern compared to some of the older ships that were coming out that have been around for years and years and years. I can tell you one thing now, this does look state of the art. This does look like now it's been brought up to the present day and it looks like it's flying in the right year anyway. So that's the main thing. So let's take a look around and see what's actually changed on this. There's quite a lot that's actually changed. You can actually see one of the gun mounts actually out there. I don't know why it's popped out to start with. We'll have a look around anyway. Let's have a look at this. We'll talk about the gunner seats when we go inside. And it does actually come, we've got the actual uh, Merlin on the back there. They actually, they give you a free Merlin to fly. I think this person, I'm actually using Nick's account inside the organization. So thanks for letting me use your account, mate. So let's move around. We've got these little, these flaps here for planet, planet oh, I can't, I'm struggling to say my words. For planet side landing, they sort of flap down. There's little fans inside. I mean, we'll see more of them sort of animations later on. They do look pretty cool, I must admit. Moving down this side. We've got a center section door there for accessing the ship. And we'll talk about that in a minute. It's a couple of little, maybe little things they might need to sort out on that. These blue lights, they've, they've made it look a lot better. They've had new landing legs. I mean, it's had a massive overhaul. And one of the actual sort of relatively significant improvement is definitely the airlocks. We can't see it that great at the moment because it's quite dark. But you can see the sort of the handle up the top there. Now, is it double door airlock? Which is quite important because the previous constellation was on a, was on like a telescope it would telescope out and the door would open. The issue that you had with that, there was no center airlock. So you open that one and then you'll see, you know, the center, you'll have an issue with the center compartment unless all the inner doors were closed. 
But the downside was is that's more than likely where your cargo is going to be, isn't it? And in some cases in the Phoenix, that's where you're going to be in your hot tub. <laughs> and that would not go down well, would it? So some good changes there. We'll have a look at them in a bit when we go around. You can see the weapon here. It was pretty cool. Textures look a bit odd on that. I don't know what you think. Might need a bit of improving on there. Moving around this side. It does look a bit dirty, doesn't it? It looks like it needs a wash. What are these things here? Some cool blue things. We all like loads of lights, don't we? You can see that they've spent a lot of time on the rear of this, making it look pretty cool. One of the other big changes as well is actually how you actually get inside the Merlin. The Merlin before, I just had some crazy thing on the back. The way you get in the Merlin before, it was almost like a submarine hatch and you open the submarine hatch and you climb down the hatch and get in the ship. We couldn't actually try it because they didn't actually implement that mechanic in the game. Now what you do, well we'll show you later anyway, but the different mechanic there, you can see that it just sort of fits better. One of the things I thought, I wonder if you can use them thrusters to give you a bit of a boost while you're coupled up. <laughs> I'm sure someone's going to try it further on down the line. Let's see if we can get further back here and have a look and see these uh, rear engines at the top there. Now they all light up blue when they're actually going along. They do leave a little bit of a blue trail. It looks actually doesn't look like it's square in the hangar, does it? It looks like someone's moved it. You can see, sort of uh, off at a bit of an angle. Maybe I did that, I don't know. I didn't think you can move them in the hangar. What else we got? We got, say there, it says P series dot. So they're probably, this, that, I mean, that might be the start of something. Maybe they're actually going to be have different type of dock types for different types of ships. And you can actually see a little arm there that's holding it in. Quite a simple sort of process there for sort of mounting it in. And actually the wings are actually out in that state, which is unexpected really. I sort of expected them, as it had folding wings, if you look at the one up there, look, you can see the wings fold down. You would have expected the wings to be folded up. Maybe the, the original ship was designed to uh, work like that. You can actually see it's actually yeah it's uh looks pretty I mean, cool doesn't it uh, unfortunately in 2.0 we can't actually use the oh, we can't actually use the uh, merlin as of yet so you can't deploy it as a fighter so it'll be unfortunate but i'm sure that have come out in uh, later patches anyway we've got these engine covers again i did say this in my last video when i looked at the uh, vanguard the way that these shields go around the engine i still think that that bears some sort of I don't know, heat, I don't know, to stop it, like, to reduce detectability. It's probably more than likely just to make it look cool. <laughs> That's my bet anyway, because it does look pretty cool, I must admit. And I like what, the, I like what they've done up the top there. It almost looks very similar to the the, uh, the the Vandal ships in some ways, them sort of like little arms that come out. Even around this side, look at what's that there, look. I'm sure what that is. There's a little sign there. Do not obstruct. Maybe that's the flares. Could be, can it? I think it is, actually. These legs as well. I mean, <laughs> this has got to be one of the biggest set of legs I've ever seen. Look at the size of them. They're skis, aren't they? I don't know, is that a bit overkill? Just seems a hell of a... You could have probably done with the, the front two and the, the front one. But that centre one. Is it a centre one? That's hard to see, isn't it? There is a centre one there as well. Just runs the whole... I suppose it is a big ship and you probably need to uh, settle it down. It sort of makes sense, I suppose. We actually see the arms as well. So if you if you actually, I'll show you where the arms are. In 2.0, you can fire the missiles, and you have to activate the arms. Once once you activate the missiles, the arms will extend out, and you can see. Oh, let's get a bit closer. This is one of the arms here. And you can see the little. If you see this thing here, actually, you can see the um, the missiles in the end there. Look, just see them poking out. You can actually also see the little rotator cuff where it actually pivots on. We just run down this way. This angle, you can see it there. It just folds out. There's actually two arms as well. You can see the you can see the rear arm for the smaller size, the sort of the thinner one. You can just see it right at the back there. You can see it there, and then obviously you've got the the other arm as well. Let's move down this way. Now to enter the door, there's two ways you can actually enter. Obviously, well, I say obviously because you can go through this uh, through the cargo bay, which is here. I'm going to open that uh, for a reason. I won't go in there yet. There is a little bit... I still can't wait till they get rid of these bloody stupid button things. Maybe you should have something like on your heads-up display, like you just open the door, you know what I mean, rather than looking all the time. 
but I think that there is a button issue around the place. I know they're trying to work and remove these used things because these are from the uh, original engine. So we're going to go up now. Go up. Airlock. Top door opens. If you look at the floor now, look. That's fine, but I noticed something when I come up here the first time. I'm going to show you, look. I'm not moving. So I'm not sure how they're going to fix that. Oh, whoa. There we go. You see what I mean? So you sort of stand on the door to go down, but because it obviously it road slides, it sort of pulls you over. I would probably say just remove the remove the action, do you know what I mean? So when the door slides, you just stand there or something. I know it still does seem a bit odd. I'm not really sure how they're going to overcome that, really. Yeah, have to wait and see. Well, first of all, when you get inside, it does look cram-packed with detail, I must say. Now, there is some... I, I don't know if these are actually issues. There's, there is definitely a lighting issue. Not in this room, certainly not. But there is in here, you see what I mean, look. It depends what you call an issue, right? Because my the way that I saw this, I thought about it for a minute. I thought, is that an issue? Why is it dark in there? And I thought, actually, yeah, it sort of does make sense. You do expect the living quarters to be bright and crew at the captain's area to be dark. Because if this is illuminated really bright, then you're going to be like a beacon because we've got all the windows. So maybe we need some mood lighting, guys. <laughs> Going back to what I said in my original uh, Constellation video. Maybe we need some dimmer switches or something. Or, or Oh, actually, what they're going to be implementing, isn't it, is the modes. As you go through the modes in the ship, the lighting changes, you know, from emergency to super cruise and battle mode. And all the different modes you go in will alter the lighting inside the ship. But when you're walking it around it in this state, there's no way for me to change the mood, if you know what I mean because you can get in the cockpit station, but you can't illuminate the actual controls whilst you're actually in the hangar. So anyway, let's have a look what we've got. Got a red light there. It's got a fire extinguisher, maybe. Could be. Avionics. Now, this is the... Because this is obviously the latest model, we're starting to see the introduction of the modular system being implemented on the ship system. On the modular systems being implemented on the ships. So, avionics, shields, you know, you get the idea. Go through here, there's more around here somewhere. Powers around the back, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Now this will be a mini game. If something goes wrong here, or there'll be components that you will be able to change on the shield generator that may be modulated in a slightly different way, work more effective, be overclocked, and then your avionics you have the same scenario as well that's not necessarily going to give you better avionics than a dedicated ship that specializes in that a ship that specializes in that will have a module that probably won't fit in here because it specializes in it you get the idea now we have two gunner seats here they both work we're gonna have a look around the front first it's a bit dark you know what i mean so we can't see much but and see one of the things i did notice if you know these heads up displays we're going to get in the seat in a minute right I'm just going to jump in this one. Collision alert. Front. I like the voices as well. They do sound pretty cool. So the two side screens there pop out. We've got these ones pop down. Welcome to Robert Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. Stand by. Scanning. Radar contact. Well, he's detecting the... Oh, there he is over there. The ship was over there. The ship definitely has moved. It's got this heads up display. We've seen these in 2.0. They do look pretty cool. The only thing that I did, I mean, I, I don't know in 2.0 if it's a bug or not, guys, but the screens are like a creamy, they got like a creamy background. I'm not saying that's a bad idea because actually, if you probably display the information on there now, you can see the arm. You see the arm, you can see things that, you know, you can see the back of it. And that might in, intrude on the physical display. So maybe having that milky background isolates that transparency you know it removes it so you can actually see the display will we better customize the colors we'll have to wait and see down later on down the line yeah pretty cool shame it's a little bit dark we'll just jump out of this one and we're gonna jump in one of the other seats as well see what you get if when you if you're uh, sitting in the outside seats we've got two seats but we're only going to sit in one obviously because uh let's get in this one It's got a huge screen. It does look pretty cool. 
I did play about with it in 2.0 a little bit. I haven't done a massive amount of uh, multiplayer yet, so... Uh, that is a screen, isn't it? I mean, that's like... Well, it's fair to say that is huge, isn't it? It's, it's the size of the screen. But I suppose if you if this is your focus, then maybe it should be that big. But actually, I don't know, guys, because it goes down to that same thing. If that is the in 2.0, then maybe it is a bug. It probably is. And it's creamy and you can't see through it. You, well, you're pretty... You can't see forward, can you? But then again, I suppose you could argue maybe this station is dedicated towards something where you shouldn't be looking. You know what I mean? Let's just go and have a look at the other ones, see if the screen's the same in that one as well. Pretty certain it was. I might be wrong. Yeah, it's got the same screen, isn't it? All in all, it is blooming cool. There's no doubt about it. So we got first aid here, which we know we can use. Oh, can I can actually use that. This is the thing in it. You don't know, you don't know what I'm going to get in a seat. Yeah, I thought so. That's why they've got to sort these buttons out. Let's get out again. Welcome to Robert Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. Radar contact. Standby. Scanning. Standby. Four shields. Let's um, take a look at these uh, gunners then. We've got two. Well, what I did a minute ago, guys, I just um, reloaded up the hangar because the seat, like I said, the ship had moved. And I think that... Because it moved, it caused some bugs where when I was in here, I couldn't see anything. Now, you can see what I mean. Now, it does rotate down, so there's, there's there's a part of this we're not actually seeing here. You can see the rotator thing there. So there is a bit more flexibility, but in some ways, if the seat was up... If you were up, upside down, like you were sitting, hanging upside down, I know that sort of don't make sense, but at least you wouldn't... Because your blind spot is your bum, isn't it, really? But saying that, still... It's not necessarily a bad thing, is it? Can't rotate the gun while in here, neither did try. So let's jump out of this one and have a look at the top one. The top one actually has the... by far the better viewing. But later on, once I actually give this a go in 2.0, maybe I change my mind, maybe it is slightly better. But you see what I mean, because, because you, once again, because you're, you're actually... Your bum is not covering... visual space. As soon as we go up in this one, you see what I mean. Oh yes, that's more like it. The viewing angles are much better. But this is what you're going to get. This is not about, oh, they should about have designed it better. This is the whole point of different types of ships. You know, you're going to have a ship that has really good viewing angles, but might not have good shields. And it's a part of the the... I want to say it wasn't the right word. It's a part of the uh, personality of the ship. You know, and I think, oh, I'm fine with that. You can see here, this is... Uh, couldn't for ask any better, really, could just be, to be fair. You might feel a little bit vulnerable here. I suppose in some ways you have every right to. <laughs> you can see my little head there. I don't have his hands on the stick there. I can't see. But it looks pretty cool. You've got a hatch. So there's two hatches. The bottom hatch was open to start with and the top hatch obviously closed up as well so when you're actually flying along you know you don't have the hatch open why don't we have a look on top as well see a escape hatch or docking port on the top there a couple more vents looks awesome it's almost the lighting looks so much better from this point doesn't it than from the uh, from the underside and there's a lot more reflections and a lot more metallic-y sort of looks like metal sort of looks where underneath it looks quite sat you know, a little bit saturated and flat oh, I'm sure that'd be fixed just coming into a later patch just look at for the distance, what it looks like. Looks pretty cool, I must admit. Right, let's just get back in. I'm going to change the view. It's a two-man turrets. Looking forward to giving that a go with a couple of uh, people inside the organisation. That'd be pretty cool. That's going to, I'm sure, going to make some funny times. One of the things that has come up quite a few times, actually a lot lately, is, is, is about man guns and how they should track targets and you can start a debate in the uh, comments guys first time i've touched on it but i've seen a lot of people talking about it a lot of people are saying and which i would prefer at the moment the guns don't lock on the target and what i mean is is when you aim on a target and the ship changes its orientation the gun does not stay on that target 
I think Battlefield done a good job of it. A lot of games have done a good job of it where you, you know, you aim on a target, if the ship rotates, it holds on that target. That would be a lot easier. It's not, it, it's purely there just to make it possible to shoot another ship. Because <laughs> at the moment, it is extremely hard. It's like, it's like almost like Armour 2 or Armour 3. It's, that's hard because, you know, you're using a, a machine gun on the side of a helicopter. There's no tracking on it and it's very, very difficult. And it needs, it needs that sort of, you know, I think it needs that ability to lock on a target. Otherwise, it's just, it make it more fun for the person in the turret seat. Maybe not as fun for the person receiving the huge incoming uh, lasers, but hey, what the hell, anyway. Way to go on them anyway. This is the first alliteration we've seen of these anyway, so I'm expecting to uh, see new HUDs and displays, more information in them cockpits and so on. So anyway, so move back here. That just took about half an hour just to talk about that section, but anyway. <laughs> We've got lots going on in here. This is probably the coolest room. Oh, I wonder if we can open that. We'll try that in a minute. We'll open that door. What do you reckon? Try it. Uh. Oh, I think it might have opened, actually. Might have done, mightn't it? Not really sure what happened there, actually, guys. Something something happened. It might have been that door. Anyway, so what we got? We got... Is this open? I think this does. We have the old uh, toilet. Now, I like the idea of having the sink there, but how do I... Oh. Disappears. How do I get if I want to go loo? What happens to the let's just go insert right? If I use the loo, what happens to the sink? Oh, okay, exactly what happens. You get locked in the toilet. Okay, let's change this view. This is awkward. Let me out <laughs> now. Oh, bloody handles, man. Got to sort these handles out now. When you're locked in the loo, guys. Love to know how you get out. Oh, there's something else there. Uh, okay, there's got to be a handle here. You come in the blooming door. I looked at that way, didn't I? The door. Let's try scanning around. Definitely something there before. Let's move over this way a little bit because it was. Dip Okay, so I can confirm, guys, I'm, I'm locked in the loo. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm going to go back to it again. They've got to sort these stupid buttons out. So annoying. You just don't know where the button is. I mean, you would have thought maybe it's the handle. I mean, what, what was if I go down here? Well, anyway, confirmed, guys. Toilet. 2.0 prison cell. <laughs> right, I'm going to reload this, guys. Back in a sec. So, free myself from the toilet. So the advice is, is uh, don't use the toilet. And there's no toilet roll neither. So, should we try and close the door? Oh, that'd be dangerous, wouldn't it? There's a use there. Oh, if that puts me in the toilet, I'd be... No, I can't risk it, guys. Uh, there we go. The toilet of death, guys. Avoid that one. Anyway, so moving on. Oh. Oh, God, that's like freaking me out. It's wooing me back in there now. The door, I'm sure that just opened. So what have we got here? This looks like oh, some crazy stuff going on here, guys. Some doors opening. These lockers open. Oh, they do. Oh, wow. I'll see a few little bugs in here, next. I'm seeing some crazy stuff when I look this way. I don't know what that is. Just at that angle. Everything opens. So, stand foot further back, maybe that resolves it. Here we are. I'm not really sure what that thing is there, but it's probably... It looks like a gas scene, doesn't it? I don't know what that is. Someone's probably going to tell me in the comments, but that screen obviously looks like it lights up. It's not a gun rack, because there's... Well, maybe it is. That's the servers, isn't it? Where's the gun rack? It was near the beds, wasn't it? It's a seating area. That all works. I'll show you that in a minute. Maybe it's the gun rack. It doesn't look like it, does it? Can't be. Probably noobing out here, guys. That is not a gun rack. I would have thought... I'm sure that's the servers... I thought that would have been the gun rack. Or maybe that is the cupboards. I don't know, guys. It's not obvious because the gun racks in the other areas look pretty obvious. Unless it's actually in here. I would have thought it would have been a gun rack, but it doesn't look like it to me. Maybe it's just some other piece of equipment. It's got big pipes coming off it, so let's make the assumption it's probably not. There's a little gap here. Seems pretty pointless. I've actually named areas A, B and, and so on now. 
that's probably going to help you later on when you come to updating modules, you know, in B section, upgrade this module and so on. It's a little computer thing there, no idea what that does, but that's probably going to be something, something important. Seating area actually does work, right? We can actually show this. The actual table works as well. Oh, what if that little door opens? Anyway. Okay, so I'm going to go into this view, and that's going to make it go all crazy. And then I'm going to somehow... Don't worry about that. No, know what I'm doing, guys. Okay, let's not go into that view. Because that obviously just looks like a bad idea. I did manage to sit... We can try something crazy here. Let's do insert now. There we go. See if this works. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. And I can confirm that did not work. Oh, here we are. Okay, I'm in the seat. It's sort of messed up while I was getting in the seat. Let's get back out. You can see the table's out now. And I'm going to have a quick swing around. You'll see the table going back down. Which it bugged out a little bit there. There we go. It goes back in the floor. Slides over. It's pretty cool. So the table only comes out when you're sitting down. So you could argue there's a slight dilemma with that. Because um, if I was sitting down eating my dinner with a couple of my mates. And the, all the plates were on the table. And then everyone got out the seat. <laughs> It's going to make a little bit of a mess on the floor, isn't it? What do you reckon? So basically, the last person out of the seat is cleaning up the mess, basically. So, what we got here? we got the beds and the skate pods. This is a much improvement over the previous ones. They've actually got these... Ca they sort of did have it before. They had the cabinets, the doors over it before, but now... That is in a self-contained container, if you know what I mean. You've got this little door, you get inside. Same sort of escape pods as before. You... Right, we won't be getting inside the escape pods. They do open, but there's a little bit of a bug at the moment. You get in and it just uh, bugs out. And uh, I don't want another toilet moment inside escape pod, thanks. Moving over here. You can see a bit of a glitching out there. I actually opened the door because I actually fought. Jump down here. Close this up and we'll have a look around here. Now, once again, the lights are in that dim mode here and I don't know how to change them. No obvious way. Okay, I'm going to climb up here. And have a look around here. There's been quite a lot of changes here. It's a shame that we can't see it in its full glory with all the lights on. It's very, very dark in here. Maybe, the, I'm not sure it's going to stay like this. You wouldn't have thought so, would you? Because you actually it can't stay like this, can it? It's just way too dark, isn't it? You can't see a blooming thing. We've got some panels here. They're probably going to do something. We'll have a quick run round first of all. We've got these missile uh, racks here that reload the outside racks. So you can actually, you're actually going to be able to see this all happen. I.e. the racks getting reloaded. There's, oh, there's so many in there, isn't there? Got the same on both sides. We run around this side. It's got the same thing. See around here as well. Odd stuff going on with the door there. As I was saying earlier, up the front there, you had the avionics actually got more avionics here high voltage i'm expecting these cabinets about you know you're about to open them and there'll be a little repair thing here gravity generator someone bored you and turns it off that's probably gonna happen isn't it that looks like what's that there well that is caution right oh that's got to be some sort of oh, doesn't look like a radiation sign there high voltage power again High voltage. Now, what you have here is actually pretty cool. I know it's a bit bugged there, right? I remember what I was saying before when I was outside. If you open this door up, this opens now. As you can see. And you've got a three second window to get through, and it leaves the door open so everyone inside dies. <laughs> Not supposed to do that, clearly, is it? But you get inside, you get the idea. I don't want to fall out. Oh, not enough room. Oh, okay, I, I did fall out. Oh, actually, it's not necessarily a bad thing, is it? Let's open it now, look. It actually does extend out, look. Causing me a bit of a problem now, doesn't it? You actually see it from there, look. The door open. I'll pop back inside. Yeah, so the doors are pretty good. I like the fact that, first of all, it's got a double airlock, which makes total sense. Secondly, it does still have the extender. So that's going to help with when you're docking onto other ships. So, yeah, looking good.
And then moving down this side, we know we've taken a quick look at this sort of these bits and bobs here. The final bit, oh, I've looked actually, do we have a look? I wonder if there's anything up there. No, there isn't, is there? I think there is actually another there is one other docking port, and I think it's down here. We have a quick look quickly. I'm sure we had a look earlier. Yeah, it's this one here. Doesn't look like I should dare yeah, try that. Probably opening on the roof, but it's just not opening in here for some reason. Anyway, so fly down this end. We've taken a look at this. You don't understand that. It just goes up and down, basically, for loading and so on. And then finally, we've got the final section. Which, once again, let's try and find a button. Oh, it's actually on the door now. No, it's not. There it is. It's gone again. There we go. Right. This is actually a pretty big room, actually. You would have thought for something... I say quite small. It didn't need to be this big. Another gravity generator thing. Power plants here. Some cool looking screens. They're blatantly going to be interactable as well. You can see that. This looks like it's going to be... You can see with all the sort of screens and the modules. This is going to be a... A fully interactive ship with loads to do. Oh, right on there. Don't want me to go that way. We've actually got, we can't go that far back here. It was, it actually looks like a door, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? It's got like a hinge on it. Here's a Merlin. This is how you get in. You can actually get it in it now as well. Opens up. Away we go. Door comes down. Okay, we have the Merlin. You can actually get in it, but I'm not good at it, guys, because there's a bug at the moment as well. Oh, I've just got in it. Ah, oh, there it works. Can't really do much here. I'm expecting the screen to lock and then it just drop, maybe, and then some door will slide over to cover the hole. Let's have a look. See if we can see some sort of sliding door thing. It's not a big hole to fill, is it? You know what I mean? Probably just slide over and close it up. A few more pipes in here. Not, not major in here, really. There's no... Some bits in the roof as well. Look, got shield generators. Lots of shield generators everywhere. Oh, look at these things on the floor as well, look. Some coolant, maybe? Saves there. Guessing. A lot more detail. I mean, you could be looking around this for hours. I mean, I've already spent quite a while talking about it. <laughs> so, what do I think? Let's go and have a jump outside. Find the door. First uh, thing is, is they've got a sort of stupid buttons out. Can't stand them. So irritating. Okay, giving up with that one. Let's go and take the, uh, let's go out the normal door. I'm not really sure what the answer is for resolving this door thing, you know. What I mean is, is I'm not really sure about how they're going to deal with the buttons. They need, we need some better button system, don't they? But how do you actually implement that? Not entirely sure. Looking forward to that, though. So, look. What do I think? I'm impressed, guys. Is it is it an upgrade on the previous constellation? 100% yes. There's no doubt about it. Downside, a few bugs in it. But we know they're eyeing them out. It's not going to be an issue at all, is it? I mean, they'll have their mind out, you know, in a few weeks, maybe a month or so. And then it'd be perfectly fine. No, I've got a really major issue really with it. All I can say is I'm definitely looking forward to seeing the variants, guys, because that centre section there with all them, you know, the seating area and all that stuff's cool. But I must admit, looking forward to seeing the Phoenix um, and see what they've done with that because now it's had the texture pass and it just looks so much better than it previously did. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.